The next question, the member for Kingston and the Islands. Mr. Speaker, yesterday a Freedom of Information document gave us a glimpse into the $8.3 billion Greenbelt and Urban Order. Boundary Scandal. We learned that the Premier's office, on or before October 26, 2022, was worried about the public reaction to Greenbelt removals. Staff notes recorded that the minister wanted to, quote, rip the Band-Aid off, but the PO doesn't want that. He wants safeguards, end quote. While the Premier's office seems to have known what was going on in October last year or before, the Premier himself says he didn't know anything until that November. If the former housing minister resigned because he didn't know what was going on in his office and his head was in the sand, will the Premier step down for the same thing? Mr. Speaker, what did the Premier know and when did he know it? Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Thank you uh, very much, Mr. Speaker. I think uh, both the Integrity Commissioner and the Auditor General were very clear uh, that, uh, the prem of, uh, that the Premier had no role in that. Uh, at the opposite uh, time, though, Mr. Speaker, the Premier has been very clear that we have to continue on our, uh, on our goal of building 1.5 million homes for the people of the province of Ontario. It is no secret that when we took over government in 2018, we were faced with a province that had crippling debt, crippling taxes, crippling uh, uh, red tape. We are in a housing crisis because of the obstacles that the Liberals, supported by the NDP, had put in the way of building homes. Now, we've started to release all of that, Mr. Speaker. What we're doing with our housing supply action plans is working. We have uh, the highest amount of purpose-built rental starts uh, in over 30 years, Mr. Speaker, and the same great news for, uh, for new home starts. Listen, we're not going to stop working to get kids out of their basement apartments and Aunt. into their first homes. That is our job and we will get it done for them. Supplementary question. No, the next. No, supplementary question. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, on October 31st, 2018, the Premier stood in this House and said, quote, we have the most ethical, most transparent, most accountable caucus, not just cabinet, but caucus I've ever seen in politics. They make sure they don't make the backroom deals that we've seen in other governments, end quote. So, Mr. Speaker, does the Premier consider his team's actions on the Green Belt over the last couple of years ethical? Mr. Municipal Affairs and Housing. Speaker, you know what we're doing in this side of the House and the Conservative majority on that side of the House? We're rebuilding a province that, under 15 years of Liberal government, supported by the NDP, was literally decimated. Now they finally started to come around to understand just how bad a government they were. When we brought a motion forward on the carbon tax, you'll remember this, Speaker, we have said since day one the carbon tax would kill the economy, that it would cost every single Ontarian far too much, Mr. Speaker. They disagreed with it. This Premier Order. brought the federal government to court to stop that tax. Now we've finally seen a split in the Liberal Party, Mr. Speaker. Half of them want to continue the tax. The others want to kill the tax, Order. Mr. Speaker. They know that we're on the right page. We will not stop ensuring that we reverse everything that that Liberal government did, cutting Response. taxes, reducing red tape, building more homes for the people of the province of Ontario. They were incredible failures. We'll get the job.